Okay, in this video I'm going to go through how you work out some of the solutions to these and I'll just pop the answer to ones that I don't do next to it. Okay, so we're looking at algebra in this. Okay, so in question one, if x equals 2 and y equals 3, calculate the value of the expression 4x plus 3y. So all you simply need to do here is every time you see x, you will put a 2, and every time you see a y, you put a 3. So this expression actually is 4 times 2 plus 3 times 3. So 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 times 3 is 9, and then we add them together, and that's 17. Okay, with number 2, find the value of 2p enclosed with brackets q minus 5. So just every time we see p equals 2, we'll put a 2, and every time we see q, we'll put a negative 5. So we'll pop that in, so we'll have 2 times 2, then we've got the bracket, and we've got negative 5 minus 5. So let's just tidy that up. 2 times 2 is 4, and minus 5 minus 5 is minus 10. So then we have 4 times negative 10, which actually is negative 40. With question three, when we have to simplify the expressions, we can only add terms if they're like. So for example, this is 4d and this is 15d. They are like terms, so we could add them together. So if you have 14, 4d plus 15d, that is 19d, okay? In this second one, in b, only the h's are like terms. So I can do this part, which would be 9h plus 7h, but the minus 4r still needs to remain there. So if I do 9h plus 7h, that is 16h, but I still got the 4r there, and that is my expression simplified. Okay, when they ask us in question 4 to simplify the expression, we can just, I'm going to do b here, we're just multiplying them all out. So when you have um, terms multiplying, just multiply the numbers or get multiplied and then we'll just have the letters still there. So 2 times 5 is 10, times 4 is 40, so this will be 40 A, B, C. We don't need to have the times in between the letters. Okay, moving on to um, question 6, when we're asked to expand. So expand means we multiply out what the, when we have the brackets. So if I look at this B one, what we're going to do is whatever's directly outside gets multiplied with inside. So this one will be 3A times 4, then minus 3A times 5B. Okay, so when we have 3A times 4, like up before, we're going to have 12A, and then minus 3a times 5 would be minus 15, and then we've got the letters a and b. That's expanding. Okay, we're just going to do this one as well, just to be careful. So with this one, remember we're timesing everything inside. So I have negative 3 times 6k, then I have negative uh, 3 times negative 8 there. Okay. So we actually have, just remember when we have a negative times by a positive, it equals a negative. And then if we have a negative times by a negative, it equals a positive. So here I have a negative by a positive. So it will be negative 18k. Now here, the next one, I've got a negative by a negative. So I'm going to get a positive. So I'll get positive 20 sorry 24 okay on the previous page they've asked us to expand and simplify so the expanding is we have to get rid of the brackets first and then the multi simplify is grouping like terms so first of all we're going to do b let's expand so expanding means I have to times whatever is directly outside the brackets with what's inside. So 7 times 4m is 28m. And then 7 times negative 6 is minus 42. 
but I haven't done anything with this one so I just add that there. Now we're up to the simplifying step. So the simplifying step means I group like terms and there's only these numbers that are similar so I will still write 20am and then I've got minus 42 plus 50 so that is 8. Okay, these ones are a little bit more involved, so I'm going to do another one. So I'm going to do this one. So first I'm going to expand the brackets. So I've got negative 2 times 9p will be negative 18p. And negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Then I write the rest of what's there, which was minus 4 plus 20p. I'm then going to group like terms. So the p are like terms and the numbers are like terms. So if I wrote that out in um, like terms next to each other, I could say I have 20p minus 18p, and then I have minus six minus four. And I'll keep simplifying that because 20p minus 18p is 2p, and minus six minus another four is minus 10. There's my answer. Okay, next one we've got simplifying the expressions. They're expressions because they don't have an equal sign. So now simplifying, I can only group like terms. So I'm going to do question B here. Now I'm going to find the like terms. So the P squared terms are like terms and the Q terms are like terms. So I will simplify them. You can write it rewrite it again with them next to each other if that helps so I'll do that so we keep the sign that's in front of it with it so I've got 3p squared minus 5p squared that means I'd have negative 2p squared and 4 9q plus 4q is 13q and there's my answer so I filled in the rest of the answers for you